going, today's video is going to be my April favorites video. I hope you all had a wonderful month and I am so excited to be sitting here filming this video for you guys because I have been trying out way too much stuff lately, but because of that I have some really, really amazing things that I am so excited to share with you. I think this video is going to be a long one, so we better jump into it. The first thing I want to talk about is the Benefit Cheekathon palette. I wanted to mention this because I'm assuming it's limited edition and it is still available, but I have been reaching for this every single day. Seriously, the combination of blushes in here plus the Hoola bronzer has just been my go-to. It is so convenient. It has a nice big mirror in it. And yeah, I have especially been loving Hoola and then Coralista down here. I love mixing Dandelion and Rockateur together. I have a separate like dedicated review video on this palette. So I'll have that link down below if you want to see swatches and stuff. But I did want to mention it because I have been using it every single day. I love it. The value cannot be beat. This is, it's just such a good little value set. I just don't think Benefit could have come up with a better palette to release. I think that this is amazing and I think it is just really what people are looking for. I know that I have been loving it. So yeah, it's, it's a good one. It's a good one. The eyeshadows I have been reaching for most this month are from Anastasia. This is a little quad that I created. I picked out these colors on my own. And this for me is just kind of like a no brainer eyeshadow look. I put these two into my crease area and then one of these all over my lid. And it's just super pretty and soft and really great just to not have to think about what you're doing. I really like these eyeshadows and the formulation of them, especially the matte ones. I will have the exact names of these eyeshadows um, linked down below. But yeah, I absolutely love this and I think it's amazing that Anastasia is now available on the Sephora uh, website, including the Sephora Canada website. So yeah, I've been loving these. I have been using that Cheekathon palette a ton, but I also have been reaching for this guy. This is from Lorac. This is their buildable blush in the shade Prism. Is that not just the most beautiful nude natural type of blush color? It just looks so pretty on the skin. It actually looks like my skin is like flushing when I have this on. I love the formula of it. I, I really like the packaging too. I think that it is just so sleek and compact and like easy to store. It's not bulky and it kind of has the magnetic closure on it. So these are available at Ulta. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that, but we, ha we can't get Lorac in Co Canada, unfortunately. So if somebody could listen to our prayers, bring Lorac somewhere, sell it somewhere in Canada, we would all be happy. We would just be thrilled. I picked up the Sephora Beauty Amplifier After Glow Primer and Luminizer during the Sephora VIB sale. And I'm so glad that I did. This has the most beautiful luminosity to it. I have been using it as, as a primer under my foundation. It feels really nice on the skin. It isn't shimmery or like glittery. It just gives your skin this beautiful, beautiful natural glow to it. I have also liked mixing it in with foundations, but my favorite way is to put it on my skin after my moisturizer, put my foundation on top. And I really find that especially for those super matte foundations, it just gives my skin a little bit more of a natural look to it because I do have super dry skin, so I'm always looking for primers that have that extra kind of glow factor to them. I would say that this is comparable to the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, and that that primer is so expensive, and I feel like this is such a great comparable product because it is so much more affordable. So if you are looking to try out something like that, I would highly recommend this. I have been using it every single day. It hasn't broken me out or anything like that. And yeah, I just think it's a really, really good product. I ordered this foundation off of the Tarte website during their friends and family sale, which is 30% off, which I think is amazing. Like, thank you Tarte so much because during like the Sephora VIB sale, it's 15% off, which is kind of like meh, whatever, but like the Tarte sale, 30% off. That is amazing. That is a great discount and thank you very much. But I wanted to try this foundation for a long time now. This I believe is from like their double duty beauty line. I could be lying but it's called the Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. Mine is in the shade Fair Light Neutral, and you guys, I love this foundation. I still love my Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation, and that has been nice for kind of like everyday wear because it's a little bit lighter, but this gel foundation, you guys, it comes in the little pot, of course, like this. That is the one thing I don't like. I don't love the packaging of it, but the actual formula of this foundation is so beautiful. It literally makes my skin look flawless, but not heavy or cakey. And it is just, it is so good. And I actually, I will say, I do like the packaging, like the actual little jar with like the purple little chevron on it is so adorable. Like the actual jar is pretty and I like just keeping it sitting on my vanity, but it does get a little bit messy when you're actually trying to put it on your face. But other than that, this foundation is so good. I would imagine if you have oilier skin, you would really, really like this. But even for me with my dry skin, I have just, 
I can't stop reaching for it and I've gotten a lot of compliments too. My friends and like my sister have been saying, your skin looks so nice, what is on it? And I swear that it is the combination of these two things. So highly recommend them. Oh, and I just wanted to mention, I did a review video on the Josie Moran Vibrancy Foundation, which I really, really like that foundation. I said in that video that it was, you know, I gave it a thumbs up. However, the shade I had, which you guys uh, might have noticed in that video, was a little bit light for me. So I went and took it back to Sephora just to exchange it. But I've gone now twice and they haven't had my shade both times. So I'm still waiting on it. I'm sure I would have included that in my video as well um, here today. But I just don't have the right shade for it. So hopefully they will get it back in store soon. This perfume, you guys, has literally taken my life over. It smells so good. This is called Midnight Fleur and it is by Nest. And I have seen this brand in Sephora. It, they have really beautiful packaging. It's just kind of like, I don't know, I feel like it's like indie and kind of eclectic. But I smelled this Midnight Fleur one time. I've owned this for a couple months now. And I cannot describe how good this smells. I am so picky when it comes to fragrances and perfumes. I'm not one of those people that just like collects perfume after perfume after perfume. I really, really stick to the things that I know and love, but this has become my new favorite so quickly. Everybody that smells it is like, what, like, what is that? It smells so good. My, my friends have been buying it. Like just in general, it smells so good. And I did, I don't know where my phone is. I had brought up on my phone like actual notes of it because I'm not good at describing perfumes, but it was like bold, seductive, um, there's like vanilla in there, amber, um, but it's not like an overly sweet smell. I feel like it's almost kind of musky, but not like that. I feel like that's a bad word to use. But anyway, this smells so good. Try it out for yourself. Like go into a Sephora, get a sample, take a whiff. You will be obsessed with it. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I don't often talk about a ton of lip products on my channel. Like I love lip products. I own a lot of them, but like I tend to really stick to just the things that I know work for me. And I wish I wore more kind of bold lip colors on, you know, like a regular basis, but I, I really do kind of stick to the things that I know and I love. But I have quite a few lip things that I want to talk about and that is how we are going to basically finish up this video. So the first one is from Too Faced. This is one of their new melted matte liquefied matte long wearing lipstick and this is specifically in the shade Feeling Myself. I do have two other colors and I do like them but this one has been my favorite. I just feel like this is a beautiful color for spring. It is like this peachy coral color but it's almost like muted like it's like a soft coral but it's still bright so i just think that this is such a unique beautiful shade i have been wearing it a ton because i normally just stick to kind of my nude lips but i feel like this is a kind of a nice departure from that and i really like the formula of these lipsticks and just in general i think that this is a really cool shade and i know they've been sold out everywhere but if you can get your hands on it i would highly recommend it especially if you have like a tan and a little bit of like goldenness in your skin this will look even better so yeah loving this one so much i'm going to be posting i'm going to be posting a review video on true fiction cosmetics later on this week true fiction is a canadian based brand and actually one of you guys recommended to me to review it and i am so excited so i'm not going to talk about that too much because i have a review video you'll be seeing later this week but i just had to tell you guys about their liquid lipsticks so they have this like bundle pack on their website and they are an affordable makeup brand and they have this bundle where you can get six of them and the price is 48 dollars. so that is amazing and you guys the formula of these liquid lipsticks is so awesome they're moussey they have a little bit of like a peppermint undertone to it but i could not believe the amazing value that you get with these liquid lipsticks because you see the colors here you have kind of like three more like nude colors like kind of this like peachy beige one a really nice soft pink and then kind of a mid-tone pink and then we have this beautiful like berry color a really um fuchsia one and then a red one so with these six liquid lipsticks, I can't imagine what other shades of liquid lipsticks you would need. And with like the crazy trend that is liquid lipsticks, I just think this is such a great way to kind of be a part of that without having to spend an arm and a leg. So I have just been loving these. I could not wait for the review video to tell you guys that just because um, I do have a discount code um, that you guys can use to get even more money off an already affordable brand, which is awesome. And I just want to say that's not an affiliate code. I don't get anything or any money when you guys click on that link or use that discount code. Um, it's just for your guys' benefit, which I thought was super nice of them to offer. So yeah, in general, I highly recommend these liquid lipsticks. If you don't all... 
if you don't own any but you're looking to kind of like jump on board I would highly recommend ordering this bundle and it's in Canadian dollars I'm talking $48 Canadian so they do ship to the US so that's even better for you with your great dollar and we're all jealous okay Lastly, I want to talk about a lip combination that is on my lips currently. This is something that my sister kind of discovered and she basically said like you have to go buy this. You will be obsessed with it. And I was like, whoa, okay. But I listened to her and I got one of the new Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipsticks in Sugarcane. Now you guys, this lipstick is so enjoyable. It has like a citrusy lemon scent to it, which I absolutely love the formula of it is so smooth and creamy and soft and even though I love my liquid lipsticks don't get me wrong on an everyday to day basis it is nice to wear a lipstick that's a little bit more comfortable and you don't have to worry about any sort of cracking because this really does feel like a bomb on your lips because Bite Beauty is known for their super wonderfully formulated lipsticks that are hydrating and soft and just in general, I love this one. It's a really nice soft pink color. It is called Sugar Cane, if I didn't mention it. And then on top of it, I have been putting this Buxom Lip Cream in White Russian. This is kind of like a cult classic. You hear people talk about it all the time. I don't know why I never just tried it out. It's because, I think it's because I haven't been much of a lip gloss girl in the past, but I'm starting to just love lip gloss. I just I don't know, I just think it's going to be a little bit more of a bigger trend going forward than just like the straight up matte lipstick like we've been seeing. But anyway, so glad I tried this out. It is just this beautiful, beautiful soft pink color and it goes over top of so many different lipsticks so nicely, but especially all over that sugar cane one is how I've been liking to wear it. But it has a little bit again of that minty feel to it, but nothing overpowering. I don't like it when my lips feel like they're like on fire from like the peppermint smell, but this one, is a really like kind of subtle, um, a subtle, bleh, bleh, subtle mint feel to it. So I really like this. I'm gonna have to get more of these. They have a really wide range of them. But yes, I highly recommend it, especially these two together. I think that this, I also actually am lying. I do have a touch of this one from True Fiction um, in the shade, what shade are you? In a boudoir, I mixed like kind of this one with this one and this one all together. That's what's on my lips. But I would highly recommend if you have a wedding coming up and you're a bride, using this combination of like the sugar cane with the white Russian because it is like a nice nude color without gonna like wipe wash you out and make you look like you don't have any lips so really loving that combination so that is everything that we have for makeup for the month which I actually feel like I got through that pretty quickly so that's good um but I do want to mention one skincare item these were actually sent to me but this is in no way sponsored at all I just have genuinely been loving these cleansing cloths so I normally use the ones from Kirkland you can get them from Costco and they're great they're a really nice cleansing cloth but you guys these are like luxurious they are all natural first of all and they have like honey and oh, I should just read it honey essential oils vitamins and they not only will take your makeup off they actually are like a cleanser but a natural cleanser so you don't have to like wash your face again after and using these has it just feels so good like I was actually surprised how much I like them this is actually one in like the new package isn't it cute it comes with like this little straw because they're soaked in juicy vitamins juicy bamboo natural facial cleansing cloths I guess I should tell you what they are these are from the brand Kaya Natural Natural, spelt K-A-I-A, and they are the Juicy Bamboo Natural Facial Cleansing Oil Cloths, and they are 99% natural, and just, these, these are awesome. I highly recommend them. I love that they come in this little container, and that you're not dealing with, like, the plastic um, bags with all the other type of wipes, and they, they, of course, are more expensive because they are natural and so nice on your skin, but... To me, they are worth it. I am 100% gonna keep on repurchasing them. You get 30 in a little pack, and I think it's like $15 or something. But yeah, these are, um, they won a Canadian Beauty Innovation Award in 2014 for the best natural organic product. So I really like these. I am gonna, you know, keep repurchasing, keep using them. Um, if you have the type of skin that's super sensitive and a lot of like the cleansing cloths make your skin burn or like feel you know like too tight because I had that with some other ones in the past this will not happen with these ones they feel so good on the skin I highly recommend them it says that they are a cleanser toner and eye makeup remover so I uh, there's just so many good things about these and I am so grateful that they sent these to me to try out because I really really been loving them so 
So those are all the things that I have been loving for the month of April. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did like it and let me know down below if we have any of the same favorites or any of your own favorites that you think I should try out. Um, also, if you guys have any video ideas that you want to see from me, please let me know. I'm always looking for new video ideas. I really appreciate all your guys' support. It means so much to me and, you know, please subscribe too because that also means a lot to me. So I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.